Hey guys, it's Mrs. Blue, back with another art video. Today, I'm sporting my very fancy Ruth Bader Ginsburg dress. Yeah, do you guys know who this lady is? Ladies, especially, do you know who this lady is? This is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, better known as RBG, or even better as the Notorious RBG. She was appointed to the Supreme Court Justice in 1993, and she is still on the Supreme Court. She was only the second lady to ever be appointed to the Supreme Court, and she has made some amazing decisions on the Supreme Court, and she is a role model of mine. So this is my Ruth Bader Ginsburg dress. I thought I would wear it today. The art we're going to do has nothing to do with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, but, you know, I thought it was fun. All right, so you can find me on YouTube at Mrs. Blue Let's Make Some Art. If you email me pictures of your art to jlpick at cps.edu, you will have a chance of winning the golden paintbrush. So without further ado, my golden paintbrush winner today is... Dun, dun, dun. You are my golden paintbrush winner. Eleanor created the most amazing sombrero. Look how colorful it is and look how adorable Eleanor is. Look at these rainbow colors. Oh, Eleanor knows right how to get to my art heart. I mean, amazing Eleanor. I love this sombrero and I want to put it on my head right this very second, but I can't because I have on a black beret. Okay, so uh, good work, Eleanor. Keep creating art with me because you're really good at it. And today we are going to make this fancy parrot. Look at that colorful parrot. Rainbow colored because, you know, I love rainbow colors. But you can color yours any way you want. I'm going to use paint today, as you can see. I have paint everywhere to uh, color my parrot. You guys can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use paint. All right, <clears throat> so let's draw the parrot. Uh, we're going to start with the parrot beak, right near the top of the paper, like this. And then we're going to draw the bottom of the beak like this. You can make the beak opened or closed. I made mine slightly opened, like he's talking. Father, want a cracker? And I'm going to now make the tuft of hair around the parrot's head like so kind of looks like an eagle now don't you worry it will look like a parrot when we're done there's the parrot's eye and let's make a second tuft of hair on our parrot and <clears throat> let's make the parrot's belly goes around like this and then I'm going to stop there because we're going to include a wing right here. In fact, let's do that now. Why not? No one's stopping us. This nice long wing on our parrot. I'm going to add a little detail right here. I made my parrot belly so fat but I like him. Okay, now I'm going to add a branch all the way to the edgy edge of the paper. And you could add any details on your branch that you would like, like that right there. And all the way to the other edge. Same thing here. If you want to add, you know, some fancy branch work like that, you just go for it. Now let's add the tail. My tail is going to go off the edge of the paper, but yours does not have to, my dears. If yours is shorter, it's okay. And now I'm going to add some talons gripping that branch like so. If you hear a squeaky noise, it is my fluffy puppy Greta under the table squeaking on a new ball that I gave her. She loves her squeak toys. Erasing the lines in the middle. And now let's make some leaves <clears throat> all around our paper. I'm going to make one right here. And I'm going to keep making some fancy leaves so it really looks like 
our parrot is hanging in a tree. This should go off the edge, right? We never want to try to squeeze stuff onto our paper. If things go off the edge, it's just fine. In fact, it's better because it will make it really look like the parrot is in the middle of a tree. You know, just some fluffy grass grasses all around. pretty fun. All right, you guys, now it's time to outline with a marker, which I talk about with you guys all the time. My favorite trusty marker. So I'm going to go over everything with marker. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was very famous is very famous for her unconventional decisions she makes on the Supreme Court. That means she makes decisions that not everyone else always makes and they aren't always popular, but she makes the decisions because they are the right decisions to make. That's an important lesson to learn. People might not always like the decisions you're making, but they might be the best decision for everyone. So you shouldn't be afraid to go against the grain. I kind of like this here. It looks like another wing over there. Uh, that was an accident. Don't be afraid to do your own thing. It took me a long time to learn that. And now I'm not afraid to do what I know is best for me and no one else. You gotta be able to tell people no when you don't feel comfortable doing something. And you gotta be willing to help people when not everyone else is helping. And that's really hard to do. I was not very good at it when I was younger. Much better at it now that I'm old and wise. I don't know how wise, but I'm definitely old. Okay. I'm tracing very sloppy today, you guys. You will do a better job than me because you have all the time in the world to trace yours. I'm trying to trace mine in a speedy fashion. And then I'm ready to paint. Yes, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna start painting. Let's start with some red. I'm gonna start with the parrot. You could start with the background, it really doesn't matter. This part red. Like so. And I'm going to rinse out almost all the red. I'm going to paint, rinse out my brush, and I'm going to paint this face with just a tiny bit of red so it looks more pink. Same thing here. I'm going to get a little bit more. There. I want it to look a little bit pink, so it's kind of like a gradient. It goes from like dark red to pink, which I like. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to paint this beak 
yellow. Like so. And I don't have very much yellow left in my palette. I'm scraping at the bottom. So cute. Okay, now I'm going to get some orange to work my, may, my way down the carrot. And I'm just going to do kind of up and down motions as I paint because I want it to look kind of fluffy. Yellow comes next. Let's see if I can get more yellow out of this. I like when it blends in a little bit, right? Not so fancy. Okay. Now, green. The colors in the palette are in rainbow order, which is always helpful. Do, 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 do. I need a little DJ here spinning me musical interludes as I work to like entertain me with music at the same time as working. That'd be fun. Can't do it all, guys. I try. And last but not least, some purple. Okay, now I'm going to paint a little yellow on top of the leaves. Scribble, 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 because then I'm going to blend in some green. It's going to look nice. Or, you know, at least a little bit colorful. Scribble, scribble. Same thing, yellow. Yellow. Then I'm going to add a little bit of orange on this branch that I'm going to cover with brown in a minute. Oh, and while I'm using orange, I might as well paint these talons orange, hanging on to this branch for dear life. And it looks like I forgot to paint a little bit of yellow on top of this one right here. Okay, now time for green. Green. Reva, are you biting a hole in your ball down there? It's brand new. Don't ruin it yet. Look, I'm really going out of the lines. I'm doing terrible painting today, but you know, it looks kind of like a forest. I wonder if any of you have birds at home. I've never had a bird as a pet. Only my two dogs and a fish. Who I named Michael Phelps to give him, you know, a leg up in the world so he feels like he can start off as a good swimmer. All right. Green here. All right, now we just have the blue sky. I'm gonna get a lot of water in here. Oh, I forgot about the branch. I'll do that in a minute. I would like to paint some brown on top of that. You guys should Take your time and do much better painting than me. Hey, you guys, I have not picked a golden paintbrush winner for tomorrow yet. Usually I have someone set aside who has sent me a picture. So you should send me pictures of your parrot because I need a golden paintbrush winner for tomorrow. Just saying. Don't have one picked yet. And I love giving away the golden paint brushes. Got an itch on my face. My hands are dirty. With paint.
little brown on the branch. And you know, if you let the branch dry, you can put some black lines on the branch to make it look like bark. Oh, look, I need blue in that little space right above the branch there. I'm just noticing that now. Oh, I can go back. There we go. And there you have it. There's our parrot. He looks so cute. You guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a fun time drawing and painting your parrot. And I'll see you again tomorrow to create some more art. All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day.